Dean, a 6 0 win this afternoon, fantastic result. Your thoughts? First and foremost, I want to congratulate Chesterfield for winning the title today. Paul Cook's done a fantastic job there, um, and his staff and his players. All the backroom and everything that goes into winning the title, they're the best team and they have they were all season. They fully deserve to win the title. They've done it, I think, with five games to go. It's an amazing achievement. They scored 100 goals, so I tip my hat to them and I hope Cookie has a good time with his staff and that. I think they're good people, good football people up there, and it's good to see them back in the EFL. So we want to congratulate them from everybody here at Barnet. We, uh, we hope they enjoy the party. And for us, our 6 0 win today, a great result. Yeah, fantastic result. We got on the front foot, we played three up front, we got after them. Um, our power and pace up front they sort of couldn't handle um, and then second half obviously the game's a little bit petering out but we've tried to pass it a little bit better and um, we come into today's game missing three centre halves, no Aluo, uh, no Thompson and uh, no Stevens. so we had to sort of play two centre halves and we went with full backs today so good adaptability from us, uh, the players took on the instructions really well and I thought what we did brilliant was made loads and loads of tackles uh, against a really tricky opposition because they are real attack minded Mark really likes his teams to go and get after you um, and play attacking football and we had to stop that and I thought we did that really well. Like you say, it's a, a difficult team to play, Dorkin, but to come out and win 6-0 today, especially that first half, 4-0, a great, a great performance. Yeah, really good performance, yeah. Uh, really pleased with the performance. All along, look, key players are back for us. Collins is huge for us, Gorman's huge for us and they make huge improvements to the team. Um, and look, from our point of view, it's a, it's a great day. Not many times you win 6-0, so we've got to really enjoy it now. And uh, But we'll just we'll enjoy this evening, we'll dust ourselves down and go on to the next one. I thought our supporters were brilliant today. I think there was 2,500 here today. That's what we want to see. But the Hive was buzzing today and they gave us a boost as well. Um, and funny enough, we had several chances early in the game, we didn't take them. So you're thinking, is it going to be one of them days? But all in all, it's a fantastic day for our football club. We've had a conversation many a time this season about us not, not necessarily taking all our chances. Must be pleased today, obviously, scoring six and all three of our strikers getting goals. Yeah, we, we, we had lots of chances, didn't we? We had loads of efforts on the goal. Uh, we could penetration our play. We played a little bit more direct. Um, I just I felt that our front three could just cause them problems with their power and pace. and They've sort of no disrespect to their centre halves. They lack athleticism, so and we've got plenty of that in abundance. And we're a little bit, like I said, we probably weren't as, uh, as, uh, as intricate as we usually are with our, our build up play. We were very, very much direct and we got after them and uh, it's great for everybody we shared the goals there didn't we? Was, and my, big, my favourite one was Brunty because I keep asking him to get more goals score more goals because he's got so much ability the kid um, I think that's um, probably 20 20 odd involvement he got one about involvement so obviously he's assisted a lot of goals but I want him to score because he's a brilliant finisher so I'm delighted for Brunty and uh, even come give me a kiss to celebrate the terrific performance with Brandy today. Uh, in the pre-match interview yesterday, Connor said that he felt Stead was a bit of a miss on Tuesday. He's coming today, two goals straight back on the on the back of his England international duty. Yeah, this is he's infectious. He walks his absolute socks off, um, and he's fit. He's super fit, lad. He's a proper flyweight, and he's, he bounces off people. He's he's brave, and uh, he got two fantastic goals, uh, pouncing on sort of errors and that. So. Look, we love Steady. He's, a, he's, a, he's still learning. People got to understand he's only he's only in full time football this year. He wasn't in full time football for the last few years, so he's learning uh, and he's doing a great job for the team. Well, we also spoke about Dale Gorman on Tuesday, but again, he's coming today. Got a goal, a great leadership from him today. Yeah, he's massive for us in the group. He's just his character, just the way he is around the place, and um, just his calmness. You give him instructions, he does it. Um, when we change system, I'll go to the captain and Danny's a leader as well. I'll go to Danny and it's a chemo. We changed system for about 15 minutes to go. We went back to a three and then we started to get more play and then we obviously scored two goals during that period. You just give instructions to good players and, uh, and they just follow them instructions for it. And Gormo is low maintenance, but he's a, he's a real leader for the team. We've had lots of players returning from injury this last week. Another one who came back off the bench today was Luke Freeman. How pleasing it is to have him get some minutes today? Yeah, he's had illness, so that was important he got back. It was good to get minutes into Idris. Um, like I said, the other centre half is a little bit frustrating, the situation with them. But we hopefully will have Tomo back. Pritch had a procedure yesterday um, which, on his back, so we're hoping he'll be back in the next 10 days. So, please God, we can get everybody back in a full uh, uh, bill of health. But what I thought we had today was power off the bench. You know, with two kids on the bench today, a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old against, uh, against Eastley, it's hard to change things. But you can bring people on like Freeman and that makes a huge difference. So, uh, we're all focused. We'll all keep taking it one game at a time. We won't get too carried away with this. We know we've got a really tough game on Friday against Solihull. So, but we do have to enjoy ourselves this weekend because we deserve it.
6-0 six, six is a big scoreline, I'll probably get plenty of the headlines, but a clean sheet again today shows how great, not just how going forward, but going back as well. Massive clean sheets bring success, I think that's it toward the end of the season. I think we've got the most clean sheets in the division, we one of them definitely. Um, we're high up there in that rankings. Um, but yeah, listen, all about clean sheets. They all, nine times out of ten, they're the teams that have success that get the most clean sheets. So, um, Laurie made a couple of good saves when he had to. A little bit of an error once I was there at the back between Akimo and Laurie, and I think he made a good save again. So, look, for it, not just Laurie for clean sheets, for the team for clean sheets. You know, We score together, we win together, we lose together. So, what we've done brilliant is stick together. I know there were some murmurings from supporters about this, that and the other, but when our best players are around, we're, we're the force. And you already touched on it, but the two, to over 2,000 fans in the Hive today it was really buzzing from beginning to end. Yeah, they got right behind us, uh, they supported us, um, and that's what we want, that's how it has to be here. It's been a long time since Barnett have been up in these, the higher echelons of the division. We did it last year, um, and we're doing it again this year. We, and it's very hard to have success in this business. There's a lot of people throwing a lot of finances, a lot of resources in, into getting where we are. We haven't done it that way. We've done it with good, honest people, hard working created togetherness and our supporters are a massive part of that and I want to thank them for that. Two big wins this week we've had against Cecily and uh, Dorkin today. Now we could travel to Solly Hull, which will be a big game in the playoff picture. How, how's this next week going to look for us? Yeah, look, the lads will have tomorrow off um, and then we are in Monday. We'll be off Tuesday and then we'll prepare for the game Wednesday and Thursday and we'll see how the lads are. Look, so we'll see how Thompson is. He's a big player for us. He's a senior player. We'll see how Pritchard is. He's a big player for us. So hopefully we'll have options. Um, we've got Josh Keeley back as well. A great win for them last night. Ireland beat San Marino 7 0 and he played. So come on, the Irish. And uh, so brilliant for him. We've got options now. We've got two fantastic goalkeepers. We've got a little bit of strength and depth, um, which we need at this period, at this moment in time. So. I think all in all, uh, it's coming along nicely, but it's going to be a really tough game. Solly Hall, a good outfit, some really good players. I think the manager has done a great job for his first year at this level. He's done a fantastic job as well. So um, we're looking forward to it. It's on the box as well. So we're looking on TNT. So this is what we want to be involved in. Uh, when I was here my first year, we were on the, I think we were on the box once. Uh, this year, this might be our sixth or seventh time. And that's what happens when, you, when you're having a successful season. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you.